All right, what game are we playing today? Duke Nukem Forever. Didn't I already play this one? Well, yes, I did, but here's what happened. Several YouTube commenters left a comment saying that the DLC campaign is, in quotes, actually pretty good. But as any veteran YouTube user knows, you should never trust the comment section. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna play the Duke Nukem Forever DLC campaign. And if it is actually pretty good, then my faith in the comment section will be temporarily restored and I'll play the most liked game in the comments. Comments. But if the DLC campaign sucks, then I'm going to stop deleting all the scammer bot comments so that one of you guys' credit card information gets stolen. Rude Awakening, yes, yeah, starting up Duke Nukem Forever for a second time is indeed a rude awakening. Oh, look, it's Black Ops. Hey, it's Black Ops Torture Chairs. Ha 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 ha. Quite the comedy gold mine, this Duke Nukem fella. The opening of the campaign did make me exhale through my nose slightly. That's not a good sign. I'm going to have to play Gollum again, aren't I? I'm really at a big disadvantage here because Duke Nukem Forever is is a game that has good little details. The game sucks, but the little details are good, like the water fountain works and the metal detector beeps when you go through it. That is my favorite kind of stuff to be in a game. I don't want to admit that this is kind of good, but it might be kind of good. Going down, that's what they said about this game's Metacritic score when it came out. Oh great, the alien guys teleport away now. They must have played Halo 4 and said, wow, these Promethean Knights are awesome. What a great enemy type. Everyone loves those guys. Well, he's just a ray of sunshine, isn't he? The Clone Carousel. This game was made by a clown carousel. Oh God, the shrink ray is back. The disappointing shrink ray that only shrinks guys. Did Dr. Bad Guy modify it so it shrinks the box now? It still doesn't shrink the box. This DLC sucks. I doubt you'll live long enough to see phase three. That's when I kill you. No, that's when they all team up and fight Thanos, Duke. Did you not watch the Marvel movies? Isn't your whole thing is movie quotes? Uh, Marvel sucks, am I right? Anyways, here's my theory about who the orange lightsaber guy is in Ahsoka show. I hope I don't crush this guy between the door. Oh no. <laughs> I like how his character model just disappeared. Dang it, I laughed at Duke Nukem. I gotta stop doing that. Oh hell, the Duke Nukem Forever Production Factory. Uh, I gotta put a stop to this. Yay, the whiteboard again. This was my most favorite feature of the first one. Hey look, there's one of the comments that said this DLC was actually pretty good. Here's what I think about that. Prepare to be chastised. I did like the line, prepare to be chastised. That was kind of good. I didn't hate that, unfortunately. Area 51 Daycare. Hopefully attack baby's guy didn't get his hands on this game. So see, like $60 million of effort went into this hallway. This hallway is very greebled, which just makes the plain square rooms that pop up from time to time even more jarring. This game's very inconsistent quality-wise. What a cutting-edge observation about Duke Nukem Forever nobody has made before. I'll be writing for Penny Arcade in no time. What if the top-voted YouTube comment is read every Penny Arcade comic chronologically? That would be terrible. Please don't comment that and like said comment. Oh great, the Barbie car is stuck on a ledge. Oh, is that going to save it? Hey, it got saved. Nice. Duke Nukem Forever bug tests itself in real time. Good thing the doctor is in because I'm getting sick of this DLC. Bazinga. I want Duke Nukem to say Bazinga. Can he say Bazinga for me, please? It'd be very funny. It'd be funnier than a floating turd. Actually, it'd probably be about the same comedy level as a floating turd. Is there a Barbie kart racer game? There has to be, right? Barbie Race and Ride. It's a horse game for PlayStation 1. That was so cool. Robocrab, I didn't know you were the boss of Duke Nukem. Are you doing okay, man? I know it's rough for you to find work these days, but this game's pretty low, even for you. Sigh, it's just so hard for me to find a job these days. Everybody wants to battle royale each other in 3v3 PvP type arenas. Nobody wants to make single player campaigns versus robot crabs. I'm gonna put Robocrab out of his misery. Sorry, old friend. This is for your own good. Magic carpet ride. Oh, no. If Randy Pitchford offers you one of those, do not accept. Trust me on this one. Drunken Crane Master. More like I wish this game would end faster. EDF, Earth Defense Force. That's a much better game. I should play that instead. If you guys could go ahead and make the most liked comment be about Earth Defense Force, that'd be great. If the forklift is get inable, I would have to admit the DLC is good. Fortunately, it's sparking and broken, so the DLC is still bad. Crap, a working forklift. This is real bad. This is not ideal. Oh god. Drivable forklift with controllable prongs. You can use the forklift to push heavy objects out of the way. I didn't say that a drivable forklift means it's good, right? I didn't say that. 
If the forklift is get inable, I would have to admit the DLC is good. Either I have to admit that forklift gaming can be bad sometimes, or I have to concede that the Duke Nukem Forever DLC is good. I can't do that to my boy forklift gaming. Forklift gaming is always good. So I guess Duke Nukem is okay. All your base, the game they're referencing had better writing than they do. My god, it's a full-scale invasion of the canyon full of... <laughs> rusty warehouses. How do the aliens always know exactly where to attack us to cripple the nation? How about this? How about we make a deal? Let's bargain. How about I have to play whatever the most upvoted game is, but the second I run into a gunship boss, I get to turn the game off and never play it again. Although I guess you could just upvote a game that has no gunships. That is a way to work around that. Still though, it sounds like a good idea to me. I am altering the deal. Pray I do not alter it further. Please let this be a normal field trip. With the Duke? No way! Is there a Magic School Bus video game? I'll play that. I'll play the Magic School Bus edutainment game. I'll play a Leapfrog game. Dude, it, has anybody made a video like Leapfrog Games Roundup? Leapfrog was weird, like something like that. While searching for Leapfrog on YouTube, I found a video by Howcast, how to play Leapfrog. Did we really need a step-by-step -step guide for Leapfrog? How to play Leapfrog. Get wild and let loose with the timeless game of Leapfrog. Duke Side of the Moon, my favorite Beatles album. Nobody told me I get the Mako for Mass Effect 1 in this DLC. Maybe this DLC is good. Let's see, are the controls really, really bad? Yeah, they're not good. Okay, it's a Mass Effect 1 Mako. This is worse than that time Liara was pregnant. This has got to be the final boss, right? Look at this thing. Yeah, Alien Empress. For the Emperor of the Aliens, her health bar is not very impressive. This is worse than that time I had to save Cortana from Gravemind. Don't make the top-rated comment be Halo 3 Cortana on Lasso. Dear God, no. Duke, this is the President of the United States. What's your plan for taking down the alien overlord? Thought I'd try shooting my way out. Mix things up a little. What? Did it explode? Did it die? They couldn't even make the alien queen explode. It just had to fade to red. Open this DLC sucks. Unfortunately, it did have the forklift, so this DLC is good. What piece of crap game do you want me to play next? Let me know in the comments, I guess.